Okay, so what is permutation? Permutation is a way in which a set of objects or things can be ordered or arranged. So for instance, if we are given 10 books, we are given 10 books, but a shelf can only accommodate 5 books. In how many ways can you arrange 5 books on the shelf coming from the 10 books? So the permutation, to, to now count or to find the number of permutation, we use the formula which is NPR and this is N factorials over N minus R factorials where N is the number of the given objects. And R is, we could say, the number of places that you can put the books. And in this case, R is equal to 5. So this problem can be solved by finding 10, P, 5. Again, N equals 10 and R equals 5. So this simply means uh, 10 factorials divided by n minus r, which is 10 minus 5, and then factorials. If we simplify this further, this is 10 factorials over 5 factorials. And when we say 10 factorials, it means you start from 10, reduce by 1, so times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, and you can go all the way down to 1, but since the denominator is equal to 5 factorials, we could stop at 5 factorials. If we do that, these 5 factorials in the denominator will cancel with the 5 factorials in the numerator. So the final answer is basically 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and then times 6. If you compute for this value, this is equal to 30,240. Okay, so that's the number of ways that you can place five books on a shelf if you have 10 books to arrange or to get from. Okay, so again, to summarize the idea, if a situation or a problem is about finding the arrangement given n number of objects and you can only place them or you can only arrange a number, like in this case 5, and in general it's r, then the formula is n factorials over n minus r factorials. Okay, So just to give you more insights about this permutation idea, if you take a look at what we obtain when we simplify the 10 factorials over 5 factorials, it, it became 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Now, permutation can be viewed in this way as well. Remember that from 10 objects, we could only place 5 books on the shelf. So, meaning to say, the first place can only or can accommodate, no, not accommodate, can, can select any one book from the 10. So, I have 10 options. Could be the book one, book two, book three, book four, or the tenth book. Okay, but I have I can place any of the ten on the first. And if I place one book already on the first place, then that means I have nine options on the second. Then I have eight options on the third. Then I have seven options on the fourth. Then six options on the fifth. And this is consistent with the fundamental counting principle, in which you Multiply the number of ways that you can have for the first, and then for the second, and for the third, and so on. And that's basically 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. So this is also how you could see permutation, aside from using the formula n factorials over n minus r factorials. Okay? So I, I hope the idea of permutation is clear. You have the formula, and you also have... 
another way to look at it in terms of the fundamental counting principle. Okay, that's it.